call it. They are more of fun and entertainment. So once they pass out of the academies, then they are desperately looking for jobs. And okay. let alone the appropriate placements. Okay. This happens very, very rare. I don't know if I that is my observation last three four years. So you want to create awareness at least? Yes. You will exactly. train them and get them placed. Yes. And first we have to show, okay, uh, this is an opportunity for you to be placed. And so, so tell me, somebody who got get placed in a college, what is their age at that point of time? Uh, when they, when they uh, yeah, 21, 20, that depends on the course they are doing. If it is engineering, like end of the academy courses, the graduation level. So, so, so we will filter it immediately in 10 yes. seconds. Yes. What would be their age? 22, 23 max? Maximum. Right. So, why don't you do a campaign targeting only who is 25 above mm -hmm. and searching on Google For how sure. to find a job. I didn't get placed. All these queries and Kenny can help you finding thousands of queries when he is doing a campaign. Yes. All these keywords. See, if I didn't get a job, what is my internet pattern? What will be my signals? I will go to Google when everybody has slept at home. I will search, find job in coaching, find job in Trivendra. How should I get a training from placement institute? Yeah, that will be the question which will be connected to the finishing school. Why and the moment somebody is searching, yeah. which is the micro moment, you have to showcase your college ad. Yes. And when you show your ad, right at the top on Google, it is the education is already done, which means if I am searching for a job and I am not placed, here is the college will give me a training and placement. Yes. And again, correlating. Okay. Google gives you flexibility to target people. For example, I, before taking this session, I spoke to somebody uh, which is a biscuit brand. Very, very small player. He's launching a new biscuit. He said, my PG is somebody. Uh, so he said, I did a you know, the survey, we did all practices by putting up biscuits in different segments in the uh, stores, but it didn't work. What should I do? Right? I gave him just one hint. I said, on Google today, people are searching best recipe during Onam, best food for festival, best recipe for, best sweet for Diwali, what should I make during Christmas? These are thousands of search trends which is happening. If your biscuit is good enough, you can show your ad right at the top, showing if you're looking for best of the sweets. Change the way you think about sweets. This is the best biscuit you can buy in replacement to a sweet. They did a campaign. They did a similar campaign. So I did this with another player who got a brief. In fact, I'll run a case study with you again very soon, which resulted in a brilliant outcome. Right. So, so just to answer your question, see today. You have to capture micro moment and showcase yourself. People are intelligent enough to understand what you, for example, even your text ad on Google can talk, it gives you four lines. It can talk about your college, it can say, didn't get placed, come here to, to get trained by the experts, call now. And we can make a call right from the mobile, give you a call, you can get a call within 10 seconds after seeing the ad. So, creating the effectiveness, there is no shortage of that. It is just that you have to understand and, and really start showing trust on this platform. And at different levels, like for the parents it should be different for the parents. So, so what typically a parent searches, they can identify that and again show him the right ad. Worried about your kids, so on and so forth and we can do all that. Is that a good cost or a bad cost? Uh, 
approximately 10 percent of the admission. Uh, not that big. It will be lesser than 10 percent for sure. Is there any way of repetition like as you grow? No. So, so Google advertising is a pure uh, <coughs> self-sustained model. I think somebody told me like that it's on the. Sorry. We have told about this cricket. Yes. Right. Cost per acquisition. Cost per. Right. So, for example, yeah, if your cost, so, no, no, so it's not cost. For example, if your cost per click is ten rupees, suppose one click takes the audience to the landing page, it is ten rupees, right? Now, suppose out of ten clicks, one person register for admission, or for example, out of hundred clicks, one person register for admission, thousand rupees. So, you say, okay, my cost of acquisition is thousand rupees. My cost per click is ten, but cost of acquisition is thousand. There's a video that talks about how Google search works. In case you want to see that, I can run that video. Should I? Yeah, it's a two minute video. Either of these categories, 
Okay. Uh, if any of you, uh, you know, can give me a search query which you have searched recently on Google, anything which you have searched recently, any if you can think of any string.
a TV ad, it will I will block a spot on Doordarshan for radio. I will block a spot for this time, and it's it's done. For example, I'm I'm very very open. I work uh, so I just got onboarded uh, Federal Bank. Uh, Federal Bank for years and years they were advertising uh, on traditional mediums. They were sort of coaching, so you know every time I used to call them to understand their digital roadmap. They were they were very very specific. They said nothing on digital because we know our mediums, we know how to advertise, and they are very old school, very typical people. Yeah. And I don't blame them, right? That's how they are. So they don't have credit cards. I'm sure, yeah. right? I met them five times. I traveled to Cochin just to meet them, spend half an hour with them, take a return flight, go back again, go meet them, come back. I did that five times. Sixth time they gave me a call. Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, so Krishna is handling marketing there. He gave me a call. He said, "Hari, Hari is there. So Hari uh, handles marketing. Krishna is there." I'm making a CSR for them. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, there's one more person. Uh, what's his name? Raj Narayan, Mr. Raj. Yes, yes. So uh, I met all these three guys. I said, "The day you believe you have partial trust on digital, give me a call." They called me on one fine day saying we are planning to do an NRI campaign. What we want to do is we want to ensure that during Onam season, all the for people from Kerala who will be travelling should see my ad in in South Southeast Asia, in in Saudi Arabia. We did an NRI campaign for them. They did it with an agency, but we were the driving force. We did that campaign. They got super excited with the results, and they said we never realised digital. Change the way people consume data. You just have to be targeted. You just have to meet the right people. After that, they gave me a call few days back again, saying we have come up with a UPI app, which is called Lotsa. They want to do an app promotion campaign with us. Seeing that, I think South Indian Bank is already working with a lot of people. Seeing that a lot of other banks, for example, Union Bank, Vijaya Bank. Uh, Or in the Bank of Commerce, they have reached out to us saying that we are hearing good things about digital. We are very, very traditional in our advertising. We want to explore this medium. And this story, the entire story, gives me two things. One is build trust with the people you work with. That is the most important thing. Because it is very, very easy to get fooled by digital. People will say, "Okay, I do a digital campaign for you. Give me twenty lakhs. You will never know where that twenty lakh went." Whereas Work with the right agency, and they will tell you where all, how, and when it is happening on digital. That's one. And second is your appetite to take a risk on digital, because see, digital will not give you results next day. Though your search ads will start showing, but initial 10-15 days they will say, okay, I got 100 clicks, but I didn't get any registration. I got 1000 clicks, but I didn't get any admissions. But probably the 1000th, second, and third click will turn into admissions. You don't know. After thousand, the th next three clicks would give you admission. So you have to be patient till that thousandth click. And again, your risk-taking ability will dis decide how your digital journey would be. Right? It cannot be a magic stick which will start delivering. But eventually, if you ask me, this is the only medium which will give you three things. One is measurability, where you can measure what is happening. Very, very intent-driven, where you know who is seeing your ad. And third is optimization. Where you can chop and change a lot of aspects. For example, if you start targeting students initially, you see, okay, our student didn't work. Start targeting parents, or you do a campaign only for, say, Odisha, saying, okay, you know, people in Odisha might have a lot of money to ad get admission, but they don't have the visibility of our college, which is in Trivandrum. So let's do a campaign only for Odisha state. You can do that as well, or let's do a campaign only for Patna. Because there are a lot of students from Bihar who travel to different locations and get admission. There, people don't get placed easily. Why don't you try a campaign for Patna, Jharkhand, Odisha, and see if you get good traction there? Actually, some colleges in Kerala are now targeting students from northeast and uh, exactly. Exactly. So I didn't knew, but that is what logic says, right? Today, you don't care if that student is. Putting Sinha at the end, or if he is putting Shivastav at the end, or Rama Swami at the end, you care about students. If that is the intent, you should be very, very specific of which are the untapped market. See, MIT 
all the top business schools will hire people or get admission from people in Delhi, NCR, Pune, Mumbai because it's it's a lavish college, glamorous. You have a TT code, this that. But that doesn't mean that tier two, tier three colleges will not get right set of students. And and that is why you have to understand who you want to reach out to. If you have 60 seats and that you have to fill, how do you reach out to those students? Is your ability to understand which students you want. And digital gives you that flexibility to choose which city, which state, what time. You can even decide you want to show your ad morning 6 a.m. to evening 6 or evening 6 p.m. to morning 6. You can take a call. <coughs> Who you want to show, male, female. I only want to show my ad to mothers saying get your son admitted to best of college. I don't want to show it to parents. You can you can do take all that call. You can't do that to any other medium. Right? And will it uh, break any difference in the cost also when you go if, if you're doing a city-wise campaign, your cost will be lesser. When you do a pan-India campaign, your cost is higher because okay. yeah. opportunity of clicking your ad is higher the moment you do a pan-India campaign. But if you say, okay, I only want to show my ad in Amravati and Nasik and Nagpur, your cost will be automatically one-tenth of what a pan-India campaign would cost you. So on Google search, I just type whatever what you just said. Data science courses in, and then I it, it showed me Bangalore automatically. I can type something else in well. Let's see which results it shows. In India, US, Canada, India, for example. See who, who all are already advertising. Manipal Global, Simply Learn. In UDACT.com. What's your institute name, sir? Big Data IT is rolling with data science. I don't know. I just searched what you said. And when I searched, it actually threw a result, which means the term is relevant. Yeah. Anything else you want to search? Kerala. Yeah. 
it again for catalogs it shows if you see the first thing do you see this ad it's written ad here this is one of the google ads and for your specific keyword manipal google is already added there is it man is manipal google in question in kerala so so basically he is doing a cannibalizing business which says anybody who searching for data science i don't care where you want to take admission i want to get that business i want to get that student because they have money what is cannibalism for example if i'm searching iphone success samsung will show me an ad saying buy samsung on on other keyword basically Though they are not present in Cochin or Kerala, they are still advertising, which means they have put in a search trend, a keyword saying anybody who is searching for training around data science, no matter if it is Kerala, Kolkata, Punjab, Chandigarh, Mumbai, I want to show my ad to them, which is like I want to capture that student no matter what he is searching. And it's probably because they know that uh, there aren't many courses in Kerala. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So if someone is really interested in doing that course, he might have to go to Manipal. Okay, okay. Which is where? So basically, south. It's in Bangalore, if I'm correct. Right? Yeah. Ah, so they have probably taken a uh, keyword string saying anybody who's searching from from South India should see my ad. Sorry. Yeah. Because 
one string would have 1000 permutation combination.